okay so this is another section um this is more philosophical so is uh, are poor people uh, happy or are poor people um unhappy so uh, this is a very debated uh, philosophic things um i think it depends how you live it uh, since i have been extremely poor by myself i have this viewpoint that i can share with you about are you happy or are you unhappy basically um you are uh, unhappy if you always crave for things you can't have like maybe oh that i can't have that beautiful computer and that you suffer or i can't uh, cut my hair i can't go to eat out with my friend i can't take the bus i can't do anything you know if you always uh, live like thinking oh i can't do i can't do always being sad for what you don't have and, and then you will be very unhappy but uh, i think unhappiness is also when you can't afford medicines for your illnesses and um, i think sometimes it's easy for for minor things to let it go but uh, sometimes it's very hard for maybe my allergy test is very hard to let go of the fact that i can't have an allergy test that has been very hard and makes me very sad so i think even if you accept to be poor uh, it will be still hard and, uh, to accept uh, that uh, you even can't have basic thing like an allergy test because it's 300 usd 350 usd even more so it's, it's very difficult to accept or maybe accept that you will never get the education you want maybe there are i think it's, it's very dif difficult because you are kind of stuck and it's very difficult to for the very important thing and uh, you will always crave for something i think and this may make you sad so another thing that may make you quite unhappy is that maybe you don't have the same work opportunities as others so maybe you want to even make uh, um, videos or work with your phone and maybe it's even you're so poor that you even can't do that so this will make you sad and maybe angry and so i think in a developed world probably being poor um, will likely make you unhappy in a developed world or anyway if you maybe if you were used to have more before and suddenly you don't have any more and this is usually in first or second world countries but i think it depends on the location because even when you accept to be poor it's very difficult to accept that you can't afford medical uh, very important medical expenses and it's very difficult to accept that you can't have education is is very difficult that you can't meet your friends so there are many many things that will make you always a little bit sad even if you don't care it's still difficult but you can avoid to care you can always be a hermit at home no but uh, so the point is uh, um, i think that poor people who are okay with being poor and who don't suffer much are people were already born in developing countries or countries which are not so developed they're already born poor so maybe they don't feel so um, sad if they crave for something or if they don't have money or if they don't have a good computer or a good phone maybe they will not uh, suffer much even for health issues maybe they will not uh, care much about it and just offer other and invite other people even who have more money than them to join them because um, they will not have uh, lived uh, in a country where money um, can buy good food uh, they are already maybe poor so the, um, living in a different art geographic area i think is very important to know how to live with happiness otherwise you just need to accept it if you are in another which is already developed so
so this is what I think uh, poor people uh, happy vs poor people unhappy and uh, I invite you to watch the other section of this uh, videos about poverty thank you very much for your use let's see you in the next section